My screen is visible. Yes. Yes. Uh, if today, uh, I I think today we are going to start with the some bootstrapping department. Uh, how the CSS or any bootstrap how we can add it in our project in the proper way, right? So here we can see that React Strap. This one library for the React. So React step will help to create bootstrap inside the React. Means uh, earlier we saw that in the index.html, we are just adding the bootstrap CSS thing, right? So here we have to install all the things through some node modules and PM packages. And I might, I think that that is a proper way of installing the bootstrap. So all the components is easily installed over there and we can reuse it. So this is the link. So this is your site. So here we can see that all the things are there means as a installation step, how we can install React bootstrap into the react and the alternative how we also import that bootstrap mean or css or we can also install the link and uh, the first we are going to demonstrate this thing okay so all things are there first i'm doing so, yes so this is a player here I can add this thing. The extra player song is installed. And uh, you also try this thing, okay? At uh, uh, along with me, so your insight will be very clear. So they are using the React step in install over there, and if I with a packet dot JSON, so React step is coming over there. Okay. Okay. And in the app dot JS. I can let this part input. In our page, we can also input this thing. The noise is coming for you, right? And then we have to install the button over there. Yes, we are using this button. What happened? Uh, button. Uh, yes, uh, danger. If we are using this thing, what happened? Oh. 
Yes. Nothing. CSS button is coming. Only that uh, with the React step. Is it clear? Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. And. Um, so problem is that. The link is not resolved, okay, the bootstrap link. So I think, one minute, in the node modules, node, 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 node modules, node modules, modules. I will not. This is also installed. That's why it's not coming. Yes, oh, I think 
प्रॉब्लम विल बी रिजॉल्व इसे हम लोग यार इंस्टॉल कर इसको या सो कपल ऑफ थिंग्स वी कैन ऐड ओवर देयर लाइक अलर्ट सम अलर्ट बॉक्स वी कैन ऐड सेम है कैन ऐड अलर्ट So the all components are coming, right? The button, color, pass any color, success, success. Box. Coming, right? All booster components are coming. So we can take one card. Card. We can also use card. Card image. Card image. Uh, card text. Card text. The card body. No card body. All the things come from React Bootstrap now. See, then card. With the card, we can use card image. Uh, card image. So top, we can use the top. And the width, we have to use the width hundred percent. Let's have see. So C can add so C. So C value we can add. Hello. All. And we adding. Body. Add body. We can add. A title, a title, a title. You can add some title. A title. Add the card text. Add some what button? You can add some button. The what is the button? And instead of card. Some card placeholder I can use. So कार्ड इमेज कमिंग
Clear? Hello? Any question? No. Hello? No question. No, no, I didn't. Okay. okay. Here we just have to install that uh, React what, app. What? Uh, here, while using it, we have to install React app and yeah, then. Yeah. We have to import in app.js file, yes. uh, like uh, from React app and uh, Bootstrap. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, one minute, one minute. Can also use a call. So call and row. Okay. So you can resize this question. So if I want to use some row. Okay. And some call. Call the NSL SM call and then call. Let's see what happened. Okay, some SM is missing in the page. This is the call actually. Okay, six by six, same thing. Normal HTML, we can also create the compass. Right? Yes. 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 Hello. Uh, so you can you can see everything is there inside this site react step you can also use them drop down effects everything is there what uh, we are using in the bootstrap the same thing you can install over there some list right some you can also use prop this this thing you can also integrate you can try, okay? We have yeah, imported two yes. things. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, React strap and second one is a bootstrap. Yes. So, so actually, if we are using uh, React strap, then why we need to uh, means, uh, import a uh, bootstrap? React and bootstrap, both is equal to React strap. Okay. React plus bootstrap. This is called bootstrap, okay? But React strap is a React component library for bootstrap. So bootstrap we are using over there as a module, right? So all the things we are creating through modules, okay? The button, we are importing from React strap, right? Uh, see, see, line number two and three. Uh, so uh, we are we are not writing the normal CSS button, uh, normal HTML button, this thing. We are not writing that. Correct. So it's already there. You can, if you observe, like button, okay? 
one class already, one interface with the button is already created on the React dispatch. That is the beauty. Means you no need to do all, 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 only pass these attributes, okay? Like a block, you want to, you can pass color. Here I have just passed the button color, right? Some outline, non active, true or false, like any size, you also define the size. If I will pass the size, whatever, size, okay, 200. Will increase a pixel. button the stream pass button uh, this way I think to pass colors success one minute ah, color is changing right side I should be able to see button prop size string. I think all the no, value. I don't get in. Let's see. One minute. The button outline the outline button is there on the okay outline on it. What happened? Outline is the no um size you can see the changes of size Let's see button toolbar all the things props think some hello should be passed. Outline is working, color is working. It's coming. Okay. Normal booster uh, button if I see okay, I think. I mean this value you have to pass one minute. Oh, it should work. BP Milji.
Então, o eixo X da Gambetta. It takes extra button, right? Here we have some issues there. Yeah. So, have you tried that? Uh, I'll add your end uh, this thing, or you will. Uh, I think uh, now you can uh, start your uh, HTML theming part, right? Hello? Uh, so HTML theme, the whatever I've said now. So this mm. way you can start. Okay, React step and then you can start this thing. Now second part is there. Uh, you can see. The style, the inline style, we can also use that. that yeah, I, I hope you know this thing, the style. You can add the style, the font family, font size, you can also add over there. And also, and this is called the inline style or CSS. So inline, you can also add this style. If you want to try. Like one deep, take one deep over there. This is called the inline styling. Take one. Removing mistakes. See the style are sitting over there. Yeah, any color you can take. And is there any way to add CSS? First one is inland, second one is by external file, third one is no, ex CSS external uh, ex external file is there, right? This this is done, right? In inline style, nah? correct. correct. Now we can also add this thing, right? Like div style, we can create, and this this is called uh, this we will call. Then it will also be invoked over there, nah? 
So inside the, you can also create some cons method styles one. Let's see what I mean. Background color red. We gotta add cut maybe. Now we can add heater. Here and then style is equal to this one, right? Yes, so this way we can also add. Is there any other method effort from to this? It's called inline style. So I don't know the CSS model, something like that. Uh, dot CSS model. Ah, this is right. Create. Uh, we have to create some CSS and then we are adding that. Yes. So here we can add string. Let's give it on container. This is already added, na? App, right? Container. We accept them. I think we are adding this thing. Oh, this value. No, I think normally you have to add. Yeah, let's go. So three methods are there, right? Installing the CSS. Now, next part is there, your form validation. This is very important means uh, whenever you create some forms. So the basic validation should be required while creating the forms. So this demo we can start. Is there any query regarding CSS or React step? No coach, my friend. Okay.
let's start this thing first style Return code. Return. Formalization. Now start this demo form validation. First, create one component form validation dot chase. Import React from React plus um, validation extends React dot component. Constructor super other in there. In the Validation Export Default Validation Now I have to import this thing Select Last one thing
Now create some HTML forms. The form method method post name. Submit. This is my trigger. So create one function. This is submit. Label name text. Name user name hello. So I'll add some value in the state state dot is dot username. So Is it is errors that two things I can add.
it will fill on change. Not handle change. Keep some field within it. Fields, which is my hello, e dot target. For target not hello. One method I have had and what it state. Fields. Submit registration from this function. I have to add report. Can anyone explain that uh, why I'm at this value e dot prevent default to uh, prevent for uh, re-rendering uh, means uh, we don't uh, want to submit form again uh, means uh, no, no 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 this is not actually I have added this function on submit okay so basically the on submit first call the backend and then your front end na? whenever you click so i have stopped this execution first and instruct them that first we have to execute this value and it will re it will the submit the form so if you add any on click function instead of form d so this value should not be provided but when we are adding some value in the on submit the first we have to this is means return false actually it means stop here we have to done something and then it will re-render to the browser uh, your server side so that's why e dot prevent default is using it. okay means it returns false because of uh, it prevents from re-rendering -re correct now uh, means re-rendering no re-rendering means if we not add now this this call directly goes to the server side back end so you see in the form whenever you click that it will reload na? reload form submit okay when you click any form so it will reload reload means it will reload and you press the cross button of the browser means in this stage some button is there and you cross it it will show continue for resubmit that means it it will go to the server side back end side okay so that's why e dot prevent default we have to halt the execution over there wait for the execution and then rest of the code should be there because here we have not implemented any backend code right? no api call we have not using over there so that's why we are using e dot prevent default to halt the execution process okay
get another function validate for function. I have to create one minute late fields. And for these dot state dot fields. Let errors. Let form is valid. Equal to true. If One by one, I have to add this value username. So, is valid is equal to false errors. Username. We can add some message, please. Enter your username. Okay. Now, it's not equal to this dot validate form. Let fields username and dot set state fields on fields and add one alert box for that form submitted form work is submitted which I can add okay Now add one input type button. Input type submit to the net class name. Button value is still all you can achieve this registered now one by one I have to add all the forms okay I think this value is there next hmm. one error message field we have to add over there input to Dev plus name error message MSG and this dot state dot errors dot user so 
I think it will not work. So first we have to add some value. Again, first we creating all the forms, and then what are the rest of the part? Last name, email, text. things are coming level of that level so tomorrow we can start uh, continue from the new thing means from the new 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 instead of the form okay today only you are starting this form validation demo. Any question? No. Yes. No question. Okay. Uh, so your React step you can also use in your HTML framing part. Okay. Whatever the code I have given, so you can start with this form. This. Uh, React step you can implement over there. And tomorrow we'll complete this React, uh, this form validation demo. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now I'm stop my screen sharing. Uh, Is there any question? Is all sort of No question, not No. You understood na, the form React step, how it is working? Hello, Lisa. Hello. Yes, coach. So, have you understood no? the yes, form validation part? Yes, sir. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, can we do one thing that the form validation code I am uploading, you just add some React step, bootstrap uh, CSS style, okay? For uh, for this look and feel. So, can you do this thing?
Sorry, can you repeat one? I am telling that if uh, this code base I will share with you, mm -hmm. and can you implement some bootstrap CSS class over there for using with using React Strap? You yes. you understood na how React Strap is working, right? Yes, yes. So I want React Strap should be implemented in this form validation code, okay? So for its look and feel, that that's why I was. So today I will share the code. Okay, you yes. just start implementing implementation of React Strap. Yes, yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. So oh. we can stop and wrap up the demo. Tomorrow we can meet. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hmm.